Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. I never come in on time. I'm Jamie. Oh, that's how we know then. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> well, Jamie, how you doing? I'm good. Good, good. I hope you're. I hope you're doing all right. Um, we rehearsed this. We did. We actually and, did. And it was perfect. Actually, we should. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I still have it, but that's okay. We just keep moving along. But good to hear from you. But uh, to those listening, uh, don't immediately see we have um, we have yet another addition to our um, one of each kind of uh, panel here. What? I'm telling you. Who is it? Uh, <laughs> we'll find Who out. Who is won't she? We? Okay, well, we're finding out right now. Well, why don't we uh, get you introduced? Uh, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Kat. I've been a longtime friend with Jamie for, like, ever. And Angelo is my new favorite food buddy. So mm-hmm. I am... She's my food friend. Yes. Yeah. I am excited to join this podcast. Yeah, we're really excited to have you here um, just because I think you'd add just a lot of great perspective and just a lot of fun to the conversation. Uh, Jamie and I have a lot of fun when we talk. But I feel like sometimes um, she falls asleep uh, when I'm talking. So <laughs> do not fall asleep. I, I, <laughs> it's a lie. I'm just uh, not that exciting. I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we're glad to to have you join. I mean, it was uh, we've been talking about it uh, on and off um, every time we we record. Um, so we should get Cat on um, because mm-hmm. we we'd love to hear what she has to say about a lot of food stuff and and uh, what she you know things that she likes to do and and eat and whatever. So. Um, thank you for for coming. You thank know? you for having me. Yeah. I do feel like I'm on the opposite end of the world sometimes, though, because I mm-hmm. used to live here in Pasadena. And then, you know, got a job down in the OC, as people like to call it. And the Orange so, Curtain. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so, yeah, hopefully I can add, you know, a perspective of, you know, into more southern of southern california <laughs> food oh no that's good i i think i think you'll you'll bring a wealth of it i mean look between the three of us honestly um i'm probably the only one that really has no idea what i'm talking about i'm just a guy who eats a lot and you know just yeah i just eat a lot and i don't know take pictures or whatever but mm-hmm. you guys actually kind of really have a pulse i'd say and some idea of a semblance of good food and and things of that sort um you know jamie obviously works in hospitality and she you know restaurants and things like that Mm. yeah and she's been bought out by the corporate overlords i I get it (laughs) but she's still she still's got a good idea of what's going on um but but kat i mean give me an idea of like a little bit of your background because i i think really and it did, even though you, you, I'm sure you'd still be an awesome addition regardless, it's just really cool to hear, you know, where you're coming from. Um, yeah. No, I mean, I'd like to say I was like in food my whole life. My first job was in and out and then, um, you know, just never worked outside of the hospitality industry. And mm-hmm. then I went to culinary school, thought I would like that whole thing, but ended up not liking it. Mm. You know, started working for corporate restaurants as like servers while I was going to college. And then I got my degree in food science. Food science. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what really is involved in, you know, in learning about food science? I think it really depends. Like, you know, I have friends who are, what is it, like testing the the alpha levels of sesame seeds that go into, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. But you can get a super scientific like that, or you can be like me who was like, I loved cooking, I loved making recipes and formulas, but I just never wanted to be in the kitchen. Interesting, okay. Yeah, so if you've seen uh, anything at Trader Joe's or Costco, I would say I helped in a lot of development for Whoa. some of those things. That's a that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> that sounds pretty, pretty big time, I gotta say, okay. Well, I think, uh, like I said, I think you've got more than half a brain than <laughs> than I do, at least to, to say something pretty meaningful. So thank you. That that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, but um, yeah, we've been talking on and off, like just getting you on here, and the day finally has arrived. And so we've we've got a lot packed today in general, and I think we'll talk about those like you know in in future things. But like as you can see right now, we have just a spread of of snacks here that we that I brought. I, uh, just, just a couple of them. Just a couple, just to just, you know, a bar or two. That's right, just a small <laughs> sampling. I um, I just come back from a couple of uh of trips um back in February. First uh, went to Texas uh with a group of people for for a weekend, and uh, and then the following week I left for the Philippines. Um, gone for about three weeks, just kind of disconnected and just kind of recharged and had a really nice relaxing time. 
ate a lot of good food and we'll you know we can highlight those in a little bit but like uh certainly had a lot of good snacks and things we ate and so that's what i brought to share and kind of get your thoughts yeah. on what you think about some of the snacks here um i mean you know i don't know if yeah what what do you think about snack these snacks in general um i don't know maybe growing up or like any exposure mm-hmm. to them i don't know like what right. Oh, for the listeners um, who've never seen our faces, uh, all three of us are Filipino by background. So (laughs) just to kind of give you a background on um, how we're going to, I guess, discuss and rate these items. Um, I was going to say, like, you know, my parents, we owned a fish market, like in a Mm -hmm. Filipino market in the valley, like in the 80s. So a lot of this stuff is pretty familiar. And then some of it like, oh, man, I wish we had this. Like it was a lot Mm -hmm. of shrimp chips. Yeah, and then chocolates. <laughs> it's like a lot of shrimp chips and crackers and stuff. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. I, th- I have a feeling like there wasn't a lot of like chocolate. It was more savory, mm-hmm. but it, mm-hmm. like, um, I think if it there was chocolate, we we would have probably eaten it. Oh sure, okay, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, a lot of the snacks that I've brought over are probably like seventy to eighty percent of them you can find here. You know, at mm-hmm. Filipino market or or wherever, um, some sort of specialty market, but. Um, obviously it's cheaper there. So you get more for yeah. your money, especially since, um, you know, you don't have uh, to import it. <laughs> yeah. And since the dollar is strong, I can, I can, you can go much farther. So, um, what's the, what's the, like the conversion? Yeah. Right now it's about 55 pesos to a dollar. Oh yeah. My God. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, just to, just to give you an idea of like some of the meals that I've had, even like some of the, like a, like a street food meal, of course would be like like a buck or so mm-hmm. um maybe for like a fast casual restaurant probably the for me maybe in the range of like four or five dollars and then for like a nice i wouldn't say high-end fine dining but just like you know kind of in that range a step below just nice elevated dining mm-hmm. a nice view you know great you know right. home style food um uh, upwards of 15 to 20 dollars you know but you get a you get a huge spread yeah. you know several yeah. entrees and um you know things like that so um like i said uh the food's out there and uh it's it, it can be enjoyed it just you know um just depends on you know who's able to you were feasting on mcdonald's money <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds I, like i ate like a king on mcdonald's money that's right <laughs> that's right so um but yeah so uh, I don't know. Where do we begin? There is so much on this table. Uh, let's see. Well, can't like, like, I don't know if we go sweet or I don't know if we go savory. Let's go savory. Okay. You know, it seems like a, a rational transition. Okay, <laughs> like, like what bag do you want to reach? Um, that might be overpowering there. I'm looking at a bag of chippies that are chili and cheese, but we also have, um, chicha pop, which I'm assuming is popcorn. That's been, chicharronized wow i mean that, that sounds about right you know so it's probably like deep fried or something this one is barbecue i kind of s- snuck a taste this one isn't as mm-hmm. overpowering or overwhelming and mm-hmm. then there's also another actual chicharron bag that we have right that was already a significant yeah. amount is gone <laughs> that cat and i did not touch all right right it, it is the lichon koali flavor okay um, so there's a lot of yeah. i'm sure there's a lot of terms and stuff yeah i know that we gotta kind of explain Mm -hmm. or whatever maybe people have come across here and there but just are not familiar with but go ahead and you know take take a bite of of, uh whatever you want try this this. one jams the special chip churron pasalubong so i'm gonna tell you like you know if if you can agree you know um of all the different types of meats and proteins uh pork is prevalent there in the philippines it's probably one of the most commonly prepared meats you know more than chicken or beef or or even uh, is this made of pork it's definitely got like pork. Seasoning. It's it's definitely pork flavored. Yeah, it's not. So the thing is that, um, for what I understand, like certain preparations of pork cannot be brought into the U.S. Yeah. Okay, like so pork rinds could right. be brought. In Even the US. if I yeah, if I had like OG pork rinds like chicharrón, no. I could not bring that. Oh, yeah. No, got it. I'm about to get all food sciencey on you. So the first ingredient is green peas. So it does give it slight like proteiny like flavor. If you know what I'm talking about, but it's not as legumey. I get it. Yeah. I could taste it in yeah. the um, the texture, and then of course all of you know the the holy grails of flavors MSG and hydrolyzed like vegetable protein. MSG. Yeah, put MSG in everything, please. Oh god, it's delicious. Chili powder, all that good stuff. Yeah, there's a significant amount of like powder. Like when I went in, I was like, uh-huh. "Do not touch the sides of this bag because 
my whole fucking arm it, is like, going to be coated. Like dust will pick yeah, up. Like, yeah. This sounds super like, I don't know if it's like like hood or something like that. <laughs> hood. I would okay. like, um, sure. like if I was eating popcorn, mm-hmm. like I had like regular popcorn, like from the movies, I would put the popcorn in this empty bag. Oh yeah. yeah. Because it would get nice and coated with like the Whatever. seasoning. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you gotta be really like, <laughs> like mission impossible, like with the fucking, water. like with the ropes you remember, you're like, <laughs> or the dropping hack. down. You cannot touch the sides or else you're going to get, <laughs> it's like a game of operation. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Yeah, these are pretty like crackish. So, what what do you think of the the overall flavor? And you know, does, is it a good snack for you? Yeah, it would be. I mean, there is a slight like ending, and it's not a bad thing of mm-hmm. vinegar. Yeah, well, I think that's kind like, of that's part kind of, of nice. the pairing. I think. Yeah, um, the koali. No, I like it. What I would do is I would obviously cut the top part off for easy access. Yeah, or just roll it or something. I, yeah, I did would, you bring another bag of this, or this is your only bag on, in your arsenal? There, there might be another bag uh, at home that I No, it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. I wonder if they sell this out. We'd have like to see if that, partic- yeah, that particular that like particular brand. I know, mm-hmm. I know. I like the spice on it. Usually when something's like meat, quote unquote meat flavored, mm-hmm. like I remember traveling to Brazil and like they'd have like ham chip, like ham flavor. <laughs> and like I just wasn't into that. <laughs> Like, I'm never really into these synthesized, like, uh-huh. meat-flavored chips because it's like, if I fucking want this, I'll get meat, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's got to be, like, a nice, like, addicting, and I think this has that addictive mm-hmm. property. Okay. Like, yeah. I was hoping there would at least be some sort of, uh, I guess, I don't want to say, like, pork extract, but some sort of, you know, pork-adjacent, <laughs> like... No, I think that's why I like them because here. it's yeah. not... Yeah. <laughs> But now that it, now when I like just like I look at it, it's definitely like it, there's a a carrier with like all the seasonings and all the delicious other things that people hate um, <laughs> <laughs> on this. But no, I would I would give this mm, three and a half out of five. Wow, I like wow. it. Wow, three like and a half. Yeah, uh, I mean, you. I guess it's because out, out the gate, right? Like we're right, not right. giving a, an award to the first. Right, but the I first also had like a chicken skin yakitori last night, so I'm like. I'm okay, still so high that, on that actual oh meat. I mean, I protein. had chicken skin last <laughs> night with like my chicken thighs, but like, no, I like this actually. Yeah. I th- I I'd, actually I'd like give that to a vegetarian friend. That's interesting how you like um, pointed out the green pea because yeah, it kind of tastes like a little bit like green pea. Mm-hmm. Those puffs. Mm-hmm. We have a uh, no the wind. a mystery guest. No, yeah, the, the wind, wind just like <laughs> knocked the door. The we have to close guest. that. Just them dead bolted, so yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so now we're going on to the next uh, savory snack. I also say as we do that, I think. Do you I want? If, do you want more? Do I want more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I I haven't had enough. So. <laughs> Um, but also let's see for the listeners, uh, lechon kawali is, is that the, um, fried or the roasted lechon uh, doused in sauce? That's kind of like, um, it's, sometimes it's sliced. It's sliced. Okay. Well, we can always, uh, like sometimes it's like Google is free put in, in a block and then it's sliced. So mm-hmm. that way you still have that fat and the softness yeah. of the meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then there's also the types where it's like chopped up and then it's mm-hmm. all, it's like all crunchy. Yeah. Pan, uh, it's pan roasted typically, I mm-hmm. guess, this type of recipe. The whole pan. I mean, there's so many different types, right? Yeah. The way that, that lechon. That was my favorite thing at parties, though, is like looking at the whole ass pig sitting on the table and you're like, yeah, it's about to be good. We're yeah. about to go down. Yeah. And then the monk tomas on the side. Yeah. I always thought lechon kuali was that. It was just like they just took all like the leftovers of lechon mm-hmm. and then just doused it and sauteed it in monk tomas. <laughs> like, am I, am I far from that? Um, or is lechon kuali just like the fried? Yeah, that looks like it's just yeah, a it's lechon that's whole, fried again. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's not okay. Pig. Yeah. Well, not, can, not to go off too much on a tangent, but how do you describe mang tomas? I mean, it is an all, I mean, they, they call it an all-purpose <laughs> sauce, which they're not it, wrong. I don't like that. You don't like mang tomas? Yeah, okay, so I have an uncle who won't buy it, but he'll make it from scratch. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. He's Ooh. hardcore. That's great. So like when we when we get the whole lechon like into the um into the house yeah. like he'll start picking other parts like the parts that you know you don't slice and you serve and then it becomes this kind of 
uh, I want to call it like this homogenous mixture of like some of the liver, like sugar, onions, and oh, like other things. Yeah. And what? so then, you know, and it's like a cooked sauce. Right. 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 Exactly. So like in Monk Tomas, like when you feel the chunks, it's kind of like some of the chunks of fat, but it's also like like these almost translucent chunks of like garlic too. Right, sure. So oh, that sounds see, I'll try that. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't like the bottled stuff? The stuff no, I don't no, like the bottled no. stuff. It is a uh is a more viscous I um, tried it recently, you know condiment. Just to be like, maybe I like it now and mm -hmm. I'll try it and I'll be like, nah, I'd rather just like taste the meat. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. But okay. no, that's my favorite sauce to put on anything. Okay, almost. good. I don't know what it is about it, but it's it's stinking good. Yeah, absolutely. That and banana ketchup. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's breakfast vibes right there. <laughs> we could spend a whole series, I think, of just covering, talking about yeah. Filipino food. And I our, think so. I, know. I think so. But okay, so we've tried the chicharron. Okay. Um, what's next? Um, let's transition to this chicha pop. Okay. This is this is the barbecue flavor. Right. So what? Did, how did you describe your understanding of chicha pop? Uh, I was going to assume it's kind of like frying popcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the texture of this certain one. Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? I'm I'm usually into like the. I notice you have like a the boy. Boy bawang. Bawang, uh -huh. and I like how how tiny that is, and I'm usually not into the the mm -hmm. the big the big gourd. Right. It's nice and light. It it's, is right. Yeah, it's like a like a dense puffed yeah. texture. If that makes sense. This is like really good um, Netflix and chill <laughs> snacks. Netflix and chicha pop. Yeah, you know? um, like watch some rubbish. And yeah, or if you couldn't get this and you're trying to like stretch it out, mix yeah. it in with your regular popcorn and mm -hmm. just toss them together and hope their flavors touch each other. And yeah. I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a fan of barbecue flavoring, and this is I like this. Yeah, because it's not American barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. You know where I it's like America. I hate American barbecue. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. What? I don't like them. Like uh, like lays the lays nope of, nope you'll I, never find that shit in my pantry wow. I will say, um again kind of related but i before this i visited tomo mm -hmm. and uh she had just bought a bag of this new doritos barbecue flavored chip nope what kind and, b barbecue from oh. doritos yeah it's a new oh, flavor which okay. i was actually surprised i thought they'd um have something out like that before but it's a new flavor but basically just tasted like fritos um like a slightly more barbecued frito so doesn't quite hit the same as like the lays barbecue yeah granted you don't like that either but um yeah, yeah i'm just not into barbecue chips it's so, like and we never have chips in the house but my mom would fucking buy barbecue chips like by the one type of fucking chip that i hate oh my god okay from all the <laughs> hey, things yeah. you could get you get the one i don't like <laughs> you have like flavored traumatic stress disorder You're that's like what <laughs> fucking that's how but honestly like that's how uh immigrant kids are yeah. it's like um your parents don't fucking know you. Yeah. And then they think they, they pick shit that they think that you like, but it's like, oh, you were in first grade right. before your fucking taste buds. Like, yeah, I actually was driving on the freeway yesterday and I was like <laughs> thinking how pissed I was. Um, cause every birth I always say, I want a pie. I want a chocolate right. or a banana green pie. Right. She always buys a fucking cake. Oh yeah. Like Sorry. every year. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I fucking said, You're I want like, a pie. Can I go to Baker square? Yeah. I'm showing my age. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> like you can just buy a pie from like fucking Vons or something like that and like right. something at least right? yeah but she's yeah. like oh I got you a cake and it's like I, I've mm -hmm. said like I'm 40 like <laughs> 40 like this was just last week you know like, right, right. Like, you know right. But, but yeah, that's immigrant kids okay. for you. Like I, I dislike ham. Like don't show me mm. sliced ham. Everybody and their mother likes honey baked ham. And right. I, I don't get it, but I also just don't like ham. So like Interesting. when she's talking about like ham flavored things, like if you gave Ugh, me like a ham yeah. flavored chip, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I, I wouldn't go for it. Oddly, the only ham I will eat is honey baked yeah. ham. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no ham here, yeah. I don't think. We have a lot of pig, but no ham. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of lechon, quote unquote, lechon manok flavor. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Again, if I, Garlic. if they, if, if I could at least sneak in or you know if they allowed you know other yeah. the way other prepared ways um mm -hmm. for for these for these meats and stuff i, I obviously yeah. bring a whole pack of them right that's fine we can still find them but i do mm -hmm. like this barbecue it's really so, good okay yeah. we'll let you take some you know keep some for later have we 
have we seen this particular black brand in Mm-mm. no Asian so markets? no unfortunately not so and i don't know where you would find them other than the place it looks artisanal just the way it's right. like. it does so i'll give some background in the mylar here. bag you're like yeah that's well, boutique no absolutely so we have two flavors here we have pesos. we have um, shit that you'd find at um what is it j bristol j farms. J bristol farms yeah it literally looks like a bristol farm uh, i'll tell you though um so this <laughs> the the context behind this this one here uh, one of um, on, towards the end of the trip, uh, one of the areas that we had visited was an area called Tagaytay, which is a, a province about an hour and a half south of Metro Manila, and um, there is a famous restaurant um, over there called Antonio's, uh, just very well known. Uh, but uh, we didn't go to Antonio's, but there is a a it's kind of a sister restaurant right next to it called Balay Daco, mm-hmm. and. Um, not yeah i'll I'll, we'll have a another episode like all the foods we ate but that was just an amazing place very you know elevated home-cooked meals Mm -hmm. with an exquisite view of like you know the the uh the lake the big lake with the with the volcano on there or something anyway but uh we had a wonderful meal there but at the end uh at the at the lobby there is a uh, kind of a bakery um area where you can buy various baked goods and jams and things of that sort and these snacks like these here um so we we grabbed our share of of these snacks and there are other snacks i probably still have have at home um perhaps if i don't go through all of them myself i'll we'll we'll share another one of those very soon but um the these are where they're from this balai daco uh, mm-hmm. restaurant yeah so um i i don't know if you can uh i'm actually looking right now yeah please do <laughs> legit and they, they you know they don't even um right it's it they don't have labeled uh that's fine nutritional with me. bikes it's uh, like you don't need to give me a label to show that it's no. obviously not well healthy. no i'm just gonna say so cat can like reproduce the- <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking like how would i do that right but then also like to bring it in or you like need, what like it that is. thing that kind of puffs like you've seen how cheese puffs are made yeah right yeah you would need one of those because it's definitely not extrusion sorry guys i'm about to nerd out it's definitely not extrusion so it's it's probably like um Again, I'm gonna nerd out real quick. You probably have some sort of like cooked corn kernel, uh-huh. and then it is, you know, puffed, and that's how you got this. And that's why it's not; it doesn't look like popcorn because popcorn comes from like a dry heat, okay, or yeah, a dry. You know that yeah. little hard nub. Mm-hmm. Like, there's none of that, yeah. and that's what right. I like about these because right. corn nuts it has that hard nub. So sometimes yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't or like, like that. We, you're still kind of chewing on the husk of that, like, mm-hmm. uh, movie popcorn. There's like none <laughs> of that, <laughs> yeah. So it's, wait, what's like, what family got there? Will they send us some? <laughs> send us some more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could just, you know, Guya, can you send us some right, more chicha exactly. poppies? <laughs> well, if, if it's not anytime soon, they, they do want us back there sometime next year. So Ooh, um, okay. if I make it back there, I'll make sure to Whole grab more luggage. of these. <laughs> yeah, luggage. for sure. Well, no joke. I mean, I in addition to this, you know, I share this with all our other, fr- our other friends. Mm-hmm. And I had literally one whole check-in a luggage of snacks, like yeah. all fifty pounds. That's what pounds. you do coming from the Philippines, right. though. Right, absolutely, yeah. Well, when you go there, yeah. you bring gifts and stuff, chocolates yeah. and whatever. <gasps> Wait, and I think my cousin's in the Philippines. There you go. Oh my god, no! I mean, like she's gonna come back to the states. She lives like a mile away from my mom, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna send her a picture. Just be like, hey, please see get if this. Can get yeah, that. <laughs> we need like sixteen of these. Thank you. <laughs> okay. She can Is make the it. The other up. one's sweet because there's like two types. Like, I on have there. not tried. This one was open. This one was not open. I so. think that's Ooh. sweet one. So like, I kind of want to save that but, one. Like th- this could be like that um, amuse right before actual sweet stuff. We still have like, we have like some egg yolk chips. Yeah, we got and, banana uh, chips. Yeah. and um, I opened this one if you guys wanted to try it. That could be. I mean, I love boy bawang. Yeah, so boy that's Bawang's. more like corn nuts, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. this is the one that's like more like you know what? Oh, I do like boy bawang, but there's uh, sometimes like they're even smaller. Yeah, yeah, like there's an and even smaller so corn nut and crunchy. Yeah, like mm-hmm. those I, I like, but boy bawang is pretty fire too. Okay, all right, and I don't, I don't know if offhand do they have this particular flavor. Here that part I don't know. Yeah, States. I know they sell that here, but it's you know the typical like garlic, adobo, whatever. Mm-hmm. So this one you might find it in like, maybe a really niche uh, Filipino market. Mm-hmm. What are your Filipino markets around here? Seafood City. Not only Seafood City, there What's was one, one in Eagle Rock. Not not just yeah. Seafood City, same one, but there's another one. Um, 
There's Island. We have Island. Um, I remember you, uh, I, I dropped by that one to pick you up something like way back in the day. I know. I'm trying to think of. And it's not, it's like Jay's or something like that. It's not like any kind of seafood, <clears throat> seafood city, 99 ranch. It's not any of that brand. I don't remember the name of it, but, mm. but um, yeah. But yeah, if you live in the OC, um, just go to Cerritos. Like literally, that's Cerritos. Yeah. Okay, sorry, that's not technically OC, but since it's on the border, it practically feels like OC to me. But mm -hmm. Cerritos um, could be um, where you would get like a lot of the Pinoy like stuff, mm -hmm. and Mar and you know, there's also Pinoy Pinay like restaurants out there. Um, they sell some little side snacks like this too. I so. was gonna say so if you're in Pasadena, you chased. That or one. Chaste or whatever, or Chase. I call it mm -hmm. Chase at Family Market. And where's that? On Allen Avenue. Allen and... Oh, right. Allen mm -hmm. off of Maple. It's like yeah. south of Maple. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's in that plaza, right? In a, it's yeah. It's in a plaza? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in All that right. plaza with the, the pizza spot mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, a massage parlor and a nail place. But they have fire to it on and they have a pretty large snack. Yeah. Ooh, dude, oh, snack selection. That's another thing to talk about. I feel like, I mean, obviously there's different ways to make duron but i feel like the skinnier skinnier the duron is mm -hmm. it's not as good Interesting. i was gonna say i was like you I like it skinny i love it fat no, i was like, like i love the flat wide ones mm. like i don't know why she said <laughs> yeah and chase does these really great flavors like they do different flavors like they do a Mm -hmm. A churro one. They do a pumpkin spice one during the fall. Of, tu my, of Turon? Yeah, my favorite is the ube. What? No. Wow. Yeah. No and, kidding. And they're, um, they're brothers. It's like family, and oh, they're wow. so nice, and I, lo I love them. I need to okay. go over there. And then on Fridays, they Fridays during Lent, they do like specials for mm. fish and stuff. Nice. Man, yeah. Like on my lunch break, I would... <laughs> I would like eat a whole like um, tilapia. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, tilapia like with my bare hands and like they give me calamansi seat and like rice yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, but tilapia. And doyo. Yeah, tilapia is superior though. That's like the best fried fish. At least that's what like I grew up eating. Yeah, yeah. and then I would take it home. Yeah. Like whatever I didn't finish and air fry that shit. Yeah. Jesus. Mom used to give me like the fresh. moon fish and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> It's too musky for me. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's where I go for Filipino food if I'm if I want it okay. out here. Okay. I yeah. mean, other than uh, what is it? Other than La Cita or something like right, that. If I right. want it yeah. informal. Well, like, that's more experience. formal, right? More that's modern. Super for yeah, yeah, it's super modern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know where I am. I you know I live in Carson, and although I border very close to where Long Beach is, so Ooh. there are a lot of good places. You know, not too far in Long Beach, so. I just go maybe about 10 minutes south of where I am, and there's a, a Filipino restaurant there called Edna's. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm. It's a small hole in the wall. It's right, you know, it's got a market next to it, but um, they make, um, you know, very good Filipino food, including mm -hmm. um, dishes that include goat, which I wasn't very aware, you know, the goat was how, you know, regularly goat was used, if, if at all, certain regions, right. I'm sure. But um, yeah, no, I, it's a small place, but. Um, Edna's? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll have open to open up these. Egg yolk ones, because yeah. if we're going to do chili cheese, it's going to blow our right. palate. So uh, these snacks, these are not, I don't think these are, these are not Filipino. No. Like, but, but these are popular in look very Southeast classy. Asia. Yeah. I think, Judging um, by the package. I think Singaporean, mean, right? Singapore, right. Mm -hmm. So I've not tried this. So I've never tried salted egg yolk um, things. So but. I'm going to give you guys a precursor. And if you're eating salted egg yolk at friends' houses, try not to get the powder on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, let's, let's be really careful right, when we eat this, okay? just open it here on top of the table, <laughs> then. I shall, I shall. Uh, I was going to say Chase does sell these types of chips. Okay. Uh, for you low-carb people out there, they sell special ones with salmon Ooh. skin. What? No yeah. kidding. I've seen that at Costco, I think, like, right? Salmon skin. Like, don't breathe on anyone if you're going to be snacking on these. Mm. Sorry. If you're not watching us but listening to us. So I'm looking at this. It looks like... Um, probably like a little flatter version of like uh lay's ruffles okay and there, it looks like there's also like fried basil or something in there what's that yeah. fried green oh fried basil. okay yeah fancy i would have just started eating it i have no yeah i would have tried to figure that stuff out after we like but... to we like to observe no i know <laughs> yeah all right don't get on the couch it's really savory yeah. mm-hmm mm -hmm. like no but i will say like back to one of your points is the um is Long Beach for Filipino food also like Cambodian food and other? Mm -hmm. um, are we allowed to be called Pacific Islanders? I saw something that was like a big argument about like <laughs> until they Southeast Asians yes. and whatnot, <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, like a bunch of my family was um, 
resided in Long Beach when they, you know, first came to America. So uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you found it. I hope you find more though. But I do see like a lot of people from our generation who grew up as, you know, um, first generation and they're bringing their parents like cooking style and food to like these kind of more modernized restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully one day we should try it. Um, I think it's called MFK by AC. I might be pronouncing that. In the uh, OC? In the OC, right. It sounds familiar. They do. Mm -hmm. um, so like right now, uh, one of their claim to fames is to uh, do the Kamayan. Okay. With the hands, right? Yes. Eating with your hands. But then if you want to go there kind of just like normally, they do brunch. Oh, perfect. Like okay. seven days a week. And I almost wanted to go there like this morning, <laughs> but I, I, I could. <laughs> well, we were supposed to go closer to the OC, but for some reason, someone didn't want to go all the way out there. I know. I should have just gone out there. <laughs> it's fine. I, no, we, I, we I enjoy there. this. Yeah, no, I enjoy this, though. Like, But also, there's so much for us to see. Like, we cannot, like, try to do this, like, all in, like, one weekend or something. I, I, you know what the thing about these potatoes? They're really potato-y. Mm. That is, there's a thing to... So you think the... It's um, almost like a roasted potato or something. Or maybe it's the egg that... Do you think the flavor comes after the fact? I mean, I don't mm. know. So the potato is the vehicle with salted egg yolk. Seasoning? Well, the, the primary, the first ingredient is potato. Okay. I mean, does that <laughs> do anything for you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's just, it's, I think it, the thickness definitely, yeah. like, plays a part into but this. But do they have um, salted egg yolk things that are legit just salted egg yolk? <laughs> I know people, like, chefs and nowadays are doing cured egg yolks. Mm -hmm. And, like, the Italians do botarga, which is very salty. Mm -hmm. um, Curry leaves, that's what's in this. But I was like, what's the original ones that are like found in 99 Ranch that are like 10 bucks a bag? You oh, you're talking about this uh, salted egg yolk. It's like another chip or some sort of other snack. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I want to say it's another duck. It's not this one, but it's another yeah, it's kind of duck. It's probably <laughs> duck. <laughs> right. like you've seen it and you guys can tell we totally researched <laughs> all of our talking points. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go find it because it's going to bother me. <laughs> I like the savoriness, but um, I don't know. It's weird. When I go for chips, I'm not like, I must have salted egg yolk. Chips. Right. Mm -hmm. No, of course. That doesn't come. That's not the first thing that comes to mind. Like maybe so. because it's like not so prevalent, even right. though it's available. Like I can I can buy this at 99 Ranch or HK or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, I think I saw this at 99 Ranch, so I'm not. Yeah. So, or um, something like it. Yeah, exactly. Irvin's. Irvin's was the one that first came out and now is widely so that's the huge available. Company, yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. what? Salted egg salmon skin. They have cassava. I like wow. the cassava. Mm. They also do a spicy version, like if you really like just feel like killing your stomach for the day. <laughs> <laughs> make a blue burn. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Like, spicy salted. It's called hot spicy. boom. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, make oh it spicy. Make, make, make everything spicy. Boom. Like I don't understand. <laughs> But I mean, that's that's now it's like, I guess that's how like people find adventure in their food is that they're like, what can we make spicy and mm. literally blow people's like, you know, GI Eagles tracks. <laughs> blow them up. Okay. Yeah. Right. But yeah, I, it's good. I just, um, I, I don't know. I, it's an interesting flavor. Okay. I like the curry leaf. In some, if you buy different brands, like I find the curry leaf here very small, but the kind that they have at Chase, which is not herbs, is something else. Mm -hmm. uh, the curry leaves are actually bigger, mm. so that it's, it's like almost a whole like curry leaf. Yeah. yeah, like that's a chip in itself. No kidding. Okay. Like I can't help but just want to keep shaking that bag to find more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cracker jack. Sorry, they're watching me right now, trying to find a curry leaf. I just want to try it. By I'm sure, itself. she did. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's like. Curry esque. Mm -hmm. the, like that, the essence of curry. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not like what we typical typically think of curry. You know, like Japanese curry, Indian curry. Yeah, this is right, part right. of that. It's probably like a tenth of like the curry flavor that you get in like other things. Sure. It's nice okay. though. Okay. It's very herbaceous. Okay. So, all right. Before we move on, mm -hmm. um, from what we've tried so far, um, we okay. This podcast typically doesn't rank things or rate things. Uh, at least I don't because I don't can't make up my mind for anything. But that doesn't mean <laughs> I'm going to stop you from doing it. So where where are we at as far as like these rankings of these snacks so far? 
I think my favorite is a Chicha Pop, but it's it's got that mystique to it that like you can't get it again. You, <laughs> you know? no wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but also I I, think of I that. like the novelty of it kind of sort of being like popcorn okay. but it's not mm-hmm. right I, I like the what was that thing that one called over oh there? the uh cheap charon Chip yeah Chiron. Chip Chiron. Uh-huh. i like the cheater the cheater <laughs> cheater <laughs> the faux cheater <laughs> and then i would go chicha pop be, because i know that i can't get it anymore oh, once yeah. we finish yeah. like once you finish that bag like oh it's yeah, over right. you can't yeah, get it right. you it's done yeah and boy belong is just like the filipino corn nuts for right. like, those familiar with right. american snacks um, it's probably not as, um, like kind of really dense and airy as like the American one is. No. This one still kind of has like a somewhat of like a softer texture, That's but it's still meat. crunchy, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. I know people probably won't get that. Okay. So do we want to try that one? That's all the way over there. What's that? Oh, those are just corn puffs or cheese puffs. I think. Mm. And then there's another one and then there's a. Uh... Nagayara, <laughs> which I, I remember selling in our market. In your market? When I was yeah. A kid. All right, so yeah, That's cheese garlic. puffs or corn, I mean, or cracker nuts, basically. So mm-hmm. that, that particular snack actually is not, is not from the Philippines. Um, mm. I have some relatives that work uh, in the Middle East, and That's so cool, they though. happen to have those on hand. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. So, um, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but it looks like Pofak Oman. Yeah. P O F A A K O M A A N. Excuse me. <laughs> so we know it's from Oman. Mm-hmm. That's, all, that's all I know. So. Okay. I don't think it's you try it. I don't think it's a particularly okay, strong or, cheese okay. flavor, but uh, I mean it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting the cheese flavors in other parts of the world because it's almost like like milky and less cheese. Uh-huh. Like it's like this weird sweet cheesy. Really? Okay, you it, think it's cheesy? Okay, I didn't think it, it was. It strong. smells cheesy, and I again nerding out it smells like aged cheese aged? you know i like yeah. it okay because you know how, like you smell cheetos and they're this is essentially what that is right right and like but like that's kind of just what salty cheese mm. but this is like aged cheese there's you a butteriness get, at the end yeah like i you can tell that this is not made with monsanto shit like no no like, that, it's, like, it's open okay. we gotta eat this shit now because mm-hmm. like once it's that, the atmosphere know, that's for sure. mm-hmm. it's gonna go bad like i i can tell like yeah. this these ingredients, we have to eat it now. <laughs> Don't hate me, but this is um okay. Do you know the packing peanuts? Uh huh. Yeah, you get in shipping boxes. Right. Well, yes. This is like how I'd imagine if they were edible. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, pe- it's, it's like packing peanuts. That right. has not stopped me from trying them right. before. But it's not a bad thing, mm-hmm. you know. Like if you guys like the Cheeto puffs, like those are definitely like right. their crunchy airiness. Yeah. This one, you can, you know. Put your tooth on it and smash it and it's still together okay so like if that it doesn't break apart yeah so again not a bad thing to be like a packing peanut but <laughs> so i imagine they would taste <laughs> yeah very nice some of them are actually edible now because they're biodegradable yeah that's yeah, yeah mm-hmm. they're food, food but i wouldn't try it y'all yeah because i i like my calories tasty <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. And do you like that? Okay, good. Good. I uh you you guys like open my eyes to like descriptions, mm-hmm. like really random descriptions of food. <laughs> I do I do like it. Like and I'm not I I don't know. I, I don't want to yeah. say that um I feel like I'm not as adventurous as my snacks as I should be. Mhm. I'll I'll admit also in general, I'm not a big snacker either. Like mm-hmm. I don't I just don't go through yeah, the day. This is a lot just, of like, snacks snack that we're, so, we're running the gamut on. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we're all Good thing we don't have dinner till like almost 9. So Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I haven't eaten anything substantial though. So Uh-oh. it's going to it's kind of wild. It's going to it's going to get wild in here real yeah. quick. Okay. Um, I have to get some right, nuggets or something like that. I think this is going to be totally like garlic garlicky. So let's go for the chili and cheese. Let's go. Let's keep going with the cheese. So we're going to try the chippy chili and cheese corn chips. I feel like you can get this at Seafood City. Yeah, I've absolutely. Seen Yes. No, absolutely. Yeah, that and clover. Like I said, most of these snacks you can buy there, but it's cheaper. Um, Chili and cheese. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> these I struggle opening well, these. It's just tear it here. Oh. I, by the I, way, I wonder if this will build a new audience for us of like some sort of ASMR kind right. of community. Just hearing the crinkles. Okay. Here, I'm going to... Hold on. Just I'm pop, putting the mic down. You just pop it open. Here, it's I'll like... Open. Oh, from the bottom, I remember that, like, as a kid. I don't know why it's so tough. Well, I'm trying not to just, like, have it, like, explode. Right. There it is. There it is. Ooh. So, Chippy, it looks like Fritos, right? Mm-hmm. Just 
from the bag. The wow, the coating is like even the more Filipino than Fritos. Prito? Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> Cheapies. Okay. What, no, what someone don't take you, this. So why don't you like yeah, it? Yeah, why don't you like it? So at first I was like, ooh, there's cheese first. And then there was... Actually, yeah, there's a weird... You're right. A weirdness to the cheese. Is it even cheese? It's like yeah, I'm not into this. Yeah. No, no, no. It's like something... Um, the closest flavor I can um, assimilate this to is if you've tried... Like, I think it's called the Thai chili Dorito. There's a weird, like... Maybe this is the chili. There's a weird orange roundness that I'm getting. Yeah, you are. Like over, like, like the almost, top of my... Like, like orange, like a my, citrus flavor? Yeah, there's a weird... And I'm thinking maybe that's the... the orange quote, cheese chili. can also be a description, too. Let's look at the... <laughs> It's like food scientists look at the ingredients. Don't yep. read the comic. Look at the ingredients. <laughs> oh yeah, don't even try to get me my Tagalog. Mm. Corn vegetable oil, etc. MSG, disodium inosinate. It has at least has actual cheese stuff in here because cheese milk powder, salt, uh, acidity regulators. Um, all of this is just talk. Is when you make something from like let's say cheese and you make it into a powder, it needs some sort of agent in it mm -hmm. that keeps it flowing, but then also doesn't you know let it rot. Um, you know, again, I can nerd out all day on this. Like, but I've never been into chippy or clover. Uh -huh. Whenever I've tried mm -hmm. it at cousins' houses yeah. and stuff, and I think that's what it's the. I'm not into the spice shake, whatever yeah. the fuck that is. The seasoning is the fourth, no, the third ingredient. So you're probably getting like just full frontal of whatever this seasoning is, and it is not your jam. The first seconds was cheese, and I was like, okay, whoa, cheese forward. But then mm -hmm. like, then like we started, <laughs> and then it took a wild turn. Yeah, yeah, it sure did. We should get our like our white boyfriends to try to try these and these and I don't know. On it. Call Dave. <laughs> I was like, oh, call my boyfriend. Dave will like that. I, I don't know. Uh, I, he loves talkies and shit, dude, but I don't yeah, think he likes that. Yeah, my dude would just be like, that was pretty good. That was all right. That's not my favorite. I don't think Dave would like that. Like, that was definitely. I need, I need descriptors. Okay. That's <laughs> going at the bottom of my list. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Sorry. It. It's all right. Sorry, Chippy. I, I don't know if it's just that particular flavor because there obviously there are going to be other flavors, yeah. you know. So I wonder There's how. There's a weird like salty you're fired. sweetness. You're fired. <laughs> and then maybe the fact that Cat is here, she can help out. Like, what the hell is that weird like salty sweetness in some of these in international chips that I get? Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, this one yeah. was not. This one was not yeah. hitting. But no. also, mind you, uh, when these flavors are made, like you know whatever tasting panels are out there. So like when you try, let's say like a lot of Korean snack foods, right. they will probably almost most likely have some sort of sweet background because a lot of Korean food has yeah, sugar in it. Yeah, weird sweet. Yeah. Like, and I'm looking at the cartoon. Right. It's funny, it looks like a hot dogs, but they're chili peppers. <laughs> yeah. Also cheese, I mean, let's see what we are probably one of, other than like Europe, but like in America, like when it comes to cheese flavors, we are probably what the most, uh, I don't want to say like advanced, but probably more diverse. And like, mm -hmm. you know, come, you know, we grew up, you know, in this era, like kind of poor, whatever. We eat canned cheese, yeah. which is like mm. American cheese. So like, that's a whole different flavor in itself. Right. You know, you know, they're probably not pulling out like, you know, uh, aged Gouda mm. to like see what <laughs> this like tastes like. It's probably like a Velveeta or something that they're trying to like assimilate. And then from there, you can make it from those actual products, but then, you know, to get cheaper, you just make like, you know, another adjacent of another adjacent. Right. And then you start kind of, I like, guess. So you're saying this is a copy of a copy of probably, a copy? Probably, probably. It's that like a one, copy of a copy of a cheese. That other one from the Middle East was. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Yeah. That was a yeah. good cheese flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It could be. I mean, I'm sure people could be like, it could be cheesier, but right. it was right. like, that was good. Right. Okay. Like, OK, for American Cheetos, if we're still comparing Blech. comparing cheese snacks yeah. like what do you feel about the cheeto cheese flavor um i feel like it's for snacks i think it's uh the standard flavor i mm -hmm. feel like that's the yeah. benchmark mm -hmm. of what other cheese snack products um yeah would try to achieve for me yeah. yeah do you think it's more of a cheddar or more of an american um damn in between i uh, probably i lean cheddar yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Is American cheese cheese? Mm, 
Okay. Yeah, you, you can call a cheese. I mean, yeah. if, if anybody out there really wants to get into the nitty gritty of like how things are named, uh, check out like USDA and FDA regulate. No, I'm sorry, not FDA uh, regulations. Right. Like you actually have to have like a certain percentage right. of something to make it co- be called like American cheese. Right. You know, it is like, legally <laughs> cheese. Yeah. But I mean, right. Yeah. But is it cheese like, you know, the brie aged in caves? <laughs> right, exactly. Probably not. But like, <laughs> what are you checking out? Nelly. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was Googling something like. Sorry, not, no. School us. <laughs> just like, I just have like allergies right now. Um, oh. But yeah, uh, okay. not into that. Okay. All right. that, that'll that go in you the wayside. We're on the far side of the table. We, if we're going to snack on it again, we'll go here. Okay. Um. Wait, we have this. All right, guys. We still have those garlic nuts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The so Nugger, I see these Nugger these type of nuts actually a lot in a lot of um, Hispanic groceries. Yes, you'll see these in Hispanic groceries. Yeah. Like not that flavor, but um, oh, these this type but different, of yeah, yeah, like maybe mm-hmm. something like barbecue flavor or mm-hmm. regular flavor. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those at Ralph's too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think this is probably a, a very that's a huge brand because become mm-hmm. a yeah exactly. Yeah, it is I a remember huge brand. that brand in the '80s, and there is a barbecue flavor that's yeah. There's barbecue. That's there's like adobo as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I think I don't know. I feel like garlic is probably the most prevalent one I've seen, even growing up personally. Yeah. So, but yeah. So this is a Filipino brand, but uh, obviously the name is Japanese. The founder. Is I don't know. Yeah, I forgot what the term of these type of nuts are. Japanese peanuts. Yeah. Yeah, the cracker nuts. Or they call them cracker like nuts. That. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hit of, yeah. of garlic there. Can... Just a hit. But there's a sweetness that comes because yeah. of the cracker nut. Yeah, itself. there's like a shell. Mm-hmm. It's like a candy coating. Mm-hmm. Hear that crunch? Oh yeah, from garlicky. Right. I actually, I would actually buy these. <laughs> that's a good snack. Like that's super addictive. Mm. I'd sneak up back to like WrestleMania next week. So oh, there you go. <laughs> That's actually really good. I don't know if they'd let me in. Why not? I don't know if food is uh, so far. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Mm. You can report back. Yeah. Well, have, have you we... not seen a football game out there? I feel like you have. When they play the Pats, do they play the Pats? They no, the Pats. but <laughs> I've been I've been to a couple like football stadium things or events. As long as you can fit into like a clear bag or something, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think I they care what you bring. Okay, well, I, yeah. aside piece. from the prohibited items, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, no pew pews, right. no stabby stabs. Exactly. I don't know what I'm allowed to say on this podcast, so I'm just gonna use the TikTok. <laughs> well, as long uh, as we check off the explicit tag, then you say whatever okay. you want. <laughs> Still gonna call them pew pews. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have transitioned. Are we done looking at our table? Well, Make sure we got all of the savory sped through because I really want to try this sweet corn because I don't think it's going to be sweet, like, you know, like caramely sweet. Right. But it's, you know, sweet in its own. Okay. Well, this will be, yeah, this will, the, this will mark the, the transition. I mean, the transition to, to when to we sweet things. break into the, the diabetes. <laughs> okay. okay. Sweet corn. Uh-huh. Please. I was gonna say I'm predicting a cornbread, and I was right. Really? Mm. Here you need to put. Mm-hmm. Let me not use that hand. If you don't like it. Oh, I got a gnarly piece. It looks like two pieces, but it's attached, so that counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is like cream corn in a can. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Cream right. corn. Cream corn. Thank you. Encapsulated or. Oh, uh, dude, it's like a fucking street fair in my mouth. We're at Disneyland, like, right now. <laughs> okay. Because as you're chewing it and you're breaking that puff down, mm-hmm. you're tasting, like, this corn sweetness, like this, um, like, sh- the sugars or whatever, you mm-hmm. know? This is obviously not healthy. There's, mm-hmm. like, no... <laughs> Did we come here to... For I'm just saying, like, there's no This is not a health and lifestyle yeah. podcast. That's why I went to the gym, because I was like, I know something's gonna... We're gonna grub but it yeah, up. But yeah, this is... Freaking it! This is crap. You've gone to the gym. You've done training, and I've just been sitting on my butt. This is like number one with a bullet on my list. We can (laughs) we can walk around. This surpasses barbecue. Got it. Yeah, it's like turtle chips. Like, what is your (gasps) your type? Your turtle chips. Oh my god, yes. My cousin's going back to the Philippines. All right. She just told me yesterday. You can um, send them pictures. You know, and have them eat at that restaurant. I mean, that's a that's a good place. Anyway, uh, Balai Daco. There you go. I was like, mm, I see the words in my head. <laughs> and forgive me for my pronunciation. Uh, my Tagalog is not the yeah, greatest. Yeah, and as I chew them, I feel like my mouth is like salivating. Like, 
it's really something. Yeah, there's like a seasoning in here that I feel like I was like, do you think you can reproduce? You can mm. analyze. You have like a big machine or something. Let's <laughs> put them in there, break it down. It's like, you I'm know, like, sometimes like some seasonings like will almost make you drool like as you eat it. I feel yes. like this is yeah that sweet. And, and I was gonna say like I, I don't know if these truly have seasonings, but because like these are in like uh, barely marked mylar bags, like, uh -huh. I'm wondering if this is you know like kind of like a boutique. They make it you know in their back house and just bag uh, it probably and, yeah yeah. Okay, Bulay Daka, what part of the Philippines were you in? Tagaytay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So again, about an hour and a half south of Metro Manila. My family is from Dasmarinas. Okay. Um, hold There's got to be coconut oils and palm oils in here <laughs> for sure. Okay, Tagaytay. Right. Oh. I know. Autocorrect is like I don't I know. know this word. What are you? Tagaray gate. Yeah. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, guys. Like, I am texting. No, I'm just no you're on a mission. I'm you're on a focused. mission. Now that I know that my you're cousin... You're sending I'm eating the shit out of this, this right now. This is so now. good. Do we need to hide it from you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I lost one on the floor. Well... I'm cursed. Well, Jammers, if you have um, Ziploc bags or yeah, something... Yeah, Parsnip will eat it. Um, I don't fucking eat it. I don't care. Good. Good move. <laughs> don't waste it. Five second roll my ass. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I know you love this, but we're going to move on. I went back to the garlic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's All right. still plenty to oh, go through. There's also banana chips. Okay, that's another. Do we banana chips are kind of sweet, though. They right. are sweet. Do so. you want to save this to the end, then? End-ish. You don't like bananas, right? I don't like raw bananas. Okay. okay. So, like, turon, I can have. Okay. But, like, raw bananas? Nah, get that shit away from my smoothie. How about plant, like... Cook, plantains like cooked plant like fried plantains oh my for god cuban food oh. okay i guess, that, I guess those that's are good. amazing like yeah, chips and yeah those that. those are amazing but you're not buying a bunch of bananas from the store or something no if i were if i were to buy bananas for any reason it's because i was gonna make banana bread so you okay. know i hate when um like my mom used to like put the chip bag like in the fruit bowl with the bananas and the fucking chips taste like banana oh <laughs> <laughs> flavor migration that's right exactly <laughs> just like with anything else yeah, let's see. Japanese cheesecake, soft and moist. I kind of want to try that one. You want to try this one? We can do this one. It has, yeah. It's, okay, go ahead. I have a whole pack of them too. Yeah. There's actually a lot more snacks still in the car. Oh so, my God. I mean, it's these types, but just pop. like more. <laughs> uh, this, I don't know. Nah, he's 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 hoarding those. That's now. fine. I I would hoard it too. But you know what? <laughs> What's wild is the fucking thick ass packaging on all these. Go ahead. Just take your piece. Great on these, though. I will say from uh, yes, like survives the plane. Yeah. yeah. Perspective. A good seal is is hard to find for real. This is like nice and dense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like a pound cake. They <laughs> yeah, they have them available now at um the Filipino markets. But my favorite pasulubong from families this was is like definitely Japanese. They they captured Japanese cheesecake. I don't know if you're into. There's a brand, a Japanese brand with a cow on these cheese crackers. Mm-hmm. And it tastes just like that. Okay. I think I might know that one. They also make like a cheese cracker and a cheese dessert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. It's like blue and white. Mm-hmm. Is that here? No, well, I got mine from, you know, the Japanese airports. So. Yeah, okay. Like, that's where you get it, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, that tastes just like the cheese crackers. It's like H Hokkaido based. Mm-hmm. Farm. Exactly. I have to look back into my photos from like 2019 Amazing. or 14 for my trips to Japan. Because I bought a bunch of those and they're delicious. No, those are good. Those mm -hmm. I'd rather have that over Hostess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the pasta, the pasta lubong that's like, um, they either do like a mocha cake or an ube cake. They're like sold in like six packs or 12 packs. Mm -hmm. You can get them here now, but I remember that was like my favorite thing. And this is... This is kind of like what you would think of like um, a packaged cake would taste like, mm. and it, it's spot on. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of wish there was a little bit of a cream filling, like a hostess, like Twinkie, uh, but nah. Yes. That would be a pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but but I also would, like, what? <laughs> I like that. Like, um, this is something I'd eat during jury duty or something like that. Yeah. It just like fits in your book bag or like or in you your kill it. Well, there are more in the car, so. Um, just you kill it. <laughs> Jamie, kill it. This is Regent <laughs> Japanese cheesecake. I need like a, a latte with that. Oh, yeah. That would go very yeah, well. Tea or something. Go yeah. really well. I have an iced tea under here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Soft hey, and moist. Get 
Okay. I'm going to have us talking. I got to keep hydrated. The vocal cords lubricated. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. It, it is like, right. I feel like if you ate the whole thing by yourself, you'd be good. Are you guys down for some Hopia? Yes, I okay. love Hopia. I love Hopia too. I, um, yeah, go ahead. I don't remember grabbing this, oh. but that's fine. Well, it was in a box. Do you want to keep it or? No. It's that one. Okay. So what we're about to uh, dive into is a Mongol special. Yeah. I love Hopia. I don't know. It's like the one thing I can't get, but every time I've tried to get it from the Filipino markets, uh-huh. I've been good. so disappointed. I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know if it's like the shell that I don't like, but I remember like smashing these as a child. But then again, a lot has changed since we've been children. Um, My parents would get it from Chinatown. Yeah. So I think this is uh, the, f- the, the Pinoy answer to um, mooncakes. I'm assuming, mm-hmm. right? So this has kind of like a bean paste filling with some flaky pastry right. cake-like thing on the outside. Right. Exactly. So this is why I love them. But hold on. Okay. I I don't know where these co- these came from. My um, <laughs> my grandma brought these, so uh, I don't know where she got them from. So a nice little uh, what is that? Like um, uh, an odor eater. Yeah. yeah. Oxygen absorbers. Right. That's For the mean. moisture. That and also to um, or freshness to maintain. Ooh, fresh. look yeah, should I to the? Uh, I don't know. The, I don't know how close the camera can see things, but um, I you know. almost got a good hole on that. Okay. Stretch, but, okay. See how flaky it is. So I this is a. It. it must be a mung bean, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Mungo. Okay. I always wonder what that was right. in Hopia. Yeah. Okay, so it was. Wait, you never knew? No, I just ate it because it was sweet. It was. Mm. It is. Yeah. They also have other fillings like um. I think there's a sesame. I like the red bean one. Mm-hmm. But this, this is the is one. Great. Yeah. This is a good. <laughs> yeah. No, like that's what I'm saying. Like this is actually really good. I'm not when disappointed you get in the by package, it. Package like my my parents would buy them like this, like mm-hmm. individually packaged. I was never a fan, but if it came from mm-hmm. you know the Chinatown, like a market, a bakery in Chinatown, it was bomb. Yeah. Like, the commissary packed ones. Um, they look like uh, what is it? I love. Oh, it's like uh, nutty. It's like cellophane, and then it's taped it's on the side. Really good. Yeah. Good. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where this came from. <laughs> I don't know where these came from, but it's on the table. That's correct. Mystery. So we'll have to do some research. That'd be funny. These came from like the market down the street. I'm like, right, right. <laughs> gotta buy some. Gotta buy some. No, Wait, you're in Carson. Good. Like, mm, I can get there. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Mm, that is and really these good. little moisture packs, I was like, don't throw them away. Like, save them because if you're, if you have like um, garnishes or something like that, like crispy garnishes, mm-hmm. like on your station, mm-hmm. oh yeah, in the mm-hmm. kitchen, like I hoard these. Uh, yeah, I have a little like deli cup. Yeah, like on, like in my kitchen. Mm-hmm. We used to use those at work for our seaweed snacks, but the downside was you had to um, pack it and seal it immediately, or it would have um, mm. started to degrade. And I was oh, like, wow. yeah. So we were near. We were like they would send us a sample of like a hundred, and you're like. I literally needed five and I can't open this whole thing or my boss is going to freaking wow. hang me. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Glad that, um, yeah, that, glad was, that good. was a good one. That was a good one. Not too sweet. <laughs> yeah. That's what Such I an like adult about thing. it. No. I like how not too sweet this dessert is. Oh my God. But that's well, how you know you're getting older. But though. I don't know like how that compares. You can try the other one because that's a different brand. Oh, is it? No, I don't know. What? This? Oh, this is that's the same one. That's the same one. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. That's the same one. There's, there's two more. Regardless, I still don't know where it came from. But that's... <laughs> Mystery Mongo. But Jesus was, yeah. Christ. One piece is like, is two candy bars. The carb. Oh, content. really? Oh, God, yeah. Well, bars. yeah, because the... Okay, so I'm glad I had half. Both. Well, because yeah. you have the, the Mongo. So bean. I only had like a candy bar worth. So yeah. one piece is 28 grams of carbs. Excellent. It's all sugar. Sugar, 17 grams. Excellent. This is how y'all know we're getting old is when we're like looking at the nutrition fact panels and we're like, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I mean, I had to do it for my career, but now I'm like, how many grams of protein now do I get when I'm eating this? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we venture into the cook oh, fudge bar or chocolate filled pillows? This is the same thing. In, like, yeah, the cake, the there's, a, the there's a wafer. Just, I do want to ask, would, uh, would Dave be interested in these particular snacks? Um... Probably if it has chocolate in it. Uh, Because I don't know if that's the only one I have. Okay, we'll put this. You can set it aside for him. That one, the fudge bar. Okay, well, there's this one. It's the. I think that's a custard filled one. Obar (laughs) sasarap. There's like nine R's on that thing. Milk custard cream vanilla cake bar. Yeah, we can totally eat this one. Okay. 
Dave is is all about chocolate. Right. Yeah, My dude is. is the opposite. Like he would prefer like that would be the last flavor on earth he would try. Really? But he he'll eat chocolate. Mm. But he just does not prefer the no, chocolate. No, Dave's flavor. gone to a restaurant and asked for a chocolate flavored whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> now that. And then we're like, hard. I'm surprised that I'm is. marrying him because Isn't like is like you know mortified. <laughs> does he like egg creams? No. no. Very interesting. So this came in a variety pack and you know some of the other people already Got some of the varieties, so that's what's left. I want you to smell it. it. Smell it. It smells like um, whiskey. Y'all <laughs> smell your food <laughs> to me. Whiskey. Do you like it? Ooh, dude, like, did that. you make me smell it because you didn't like the smell? No, I, like, I, I. You like the smell? Like, smell it. I have to smell. I had to smell everything. For no, my I job. noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just like kind of. I was, I was curious as to like what you know. Your nose is all up in that. I come in with. I was coming in with trepidation every time I no went kidding. to go smell something. Jeez. I'm always curious as to like how things smell, like what how you know companies interpret like different flavors or what they think is. So, for example, I did a, a project way back when for coconut water. Uh huh. Okay. I don't think I ever thought about consuming suntan lotion until that point there were there were flavors that Wait tasted like suntan lotion i don't I want them but that. it's what it tasted like that. and i was like i hate my life right now like things that you put on your body you're like why am i tasting it right mm. now I see so, coconut water having right right tinge. thank god they didn't you know because we get like coconut type 0134 and mm -hmm. coconut type 0222 mm -hmm. so you know you just have to pick the right one and like that was so if you ever, oh. yeah, if you ever bring something coconutty around me, I'm like, mm. I would be adverse to smelling that. I'd be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Give me some of that oh, cake. It just, it looks interesting. It so smells milk custard cream filled. That, and, I know it doesn't say banana, but I don't know why I'm getting banana vibes off of it. It could just be me. I think it's the sugar. Mm -hmm. That's your, uh, there's your Twinkie right there. I mean. Is, honestly, I don't know if you've had, you've had a Twinkie lately, but they've changed their recipe within the last 10 to 20 years. It's mm -hmm. like, even the cream is nasty. Yeah. Mm. Well, then they like they were going to axe it at one point, and then people wanted to bring it back. Wasn't yeah. that the one? This kind of well, reminds me of the cheesecake-y. It's mm -hmm. got a cheesecake-y. That's what I thought that would taste like. But when you look at Japanese it's cheesecake, it's truly cheese that they put into it, or some sort of like cheese like product to it, versus like we use cream cheese. For our cheesecakes. Oh, Lord. Like, I so. wish that tasted like a Twinkie. Like, I, that's what a Twinkie should taste like. Like that? Uh, mm hmm Very vanilla-y, very yeah. sweet. I mm -hmm. taste the vanilla. Sorry, my name is Gucci. Okay. Huh. Did you try it? Or are you not trying it? I've had my share, like, before. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> We're all, like, staring at him like, why aren't you trying this, dude? <laughs> not trying There's to... something we don't know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> something laced in here, hidden. It's like, oh, man. I cannot wait to eat substantial food like later no. on. Today. Oh, I know. I'm excited. Hopefully, you still got your appetite, but yeah, absolutely. I hope so too. But I mean, I'm kind of glad that's why we're just, you know, you only brought like a bag of each. Imagine, well, these, the chicha pops are, you know, right. we're eyeing them, but all we these other things. If you look at, look at how much is gone of the chicha pops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The barbecue, I don't even know where all the barbecue went. I had like. Was that you? Maybe. Yeah. It might have been me. This one actually was already pre-opened, so that okay. might have had a little bit gone before. Like, yeah, okay. and definitely. The sweet corn, I definitely had, like, a few handfuls. If you guys have resealable bags, always take the air out as much as you can. Okay. It's like a uh, food tip. Okay. That's why we have oxygen absorbers, because, like, oxygen in air is, like, your yeah. worst enemy. Uh-huh. It's our time. And that's what we'll do. This is fascinating. I'm like learning so much today. That should be like one of your break sounds is like, it sounds like the opening or crinkling of something. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's my bumper music. Yeah. Just like in between segments. Right. Okay, so uh. Are we on the candy now or we do have some cookies? Yeah. So we have the Choco Crunchies. Canine Crunchies, Canine Crunchies. And this definitely you can find at, uh, you know, here. So. Yeah, I would see these in my cousin's okay. houses. They're just like wafers <laughs> like with my covered houses. with chocolate. Okay, so. This is by Fibisco. Fibisco, Not right. to be mistaken with Nubisco. Nubisco. Correct, correct. <laughs> right. All right, so do you want to try this or do you want to try That's the... also Fibisco, so. <laughs> Fibisco. That looks like, that looks like a poor man's Oreo. Well, these two. It's a high row and the Cremo. Yeah. You know, let's try the competitors. The okay. competitor Oreos. A head-to-head -head, uh, comparison. Yeah, the dupe. Yeah. 
All right, so guys, we have a head-to-head for uh, Jack and Jill What's Cremos. Your, okay, what, is, what does yours say? Like vanilla cream filled chocolate sandwich. Mine says chocolate flavored sandwich cookies. Mm-hmm. Mine says chocolate flavored. Yours says straight up chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Well, why? I cannot believe this says Fabisco. This literally looks like the fucking brand Nabisco. Oh, there you go. Like yeah. same lettering. It, it really does. I, I mean, there could be different names for different brands out there. Like, they can literally That's be right. the same mother company. It's uh, localized for that yeah, region. Yeah, it right? could be that. <laughs> I'm actually now, again, this is what happens when you get the food scientist in here. Or somebody who's, uh, okay, no, they both have cocoa powder. Um, yeah, so when you guys see something that says, like, flavored, it, it could mean that, you know, whatever it is saying that it's flavored of doesn't has that actual ingredient doesn't exist Mm -hmm, in there. mm -hmm. But because there's cocoa powder, I think these are both still legit um, chocolate. Okay. So Excellent. I don't know why one says flavored and one says not. Okay. So let's try the Cremos. They definitely aren't shying away with copying um, Oreos packaging. It's dark blue. Um, (laughs) Yeah. It's with O. (laughs) But I hope these aren't like the, you know, like the, when you see the store brand Oreos. Mm Mm-hmm. Or you like the private label ones. What's like interesting, I was going to say like, okay, so Oreos are like vegan. Would you say yeah. these are still vegan? Yeah, they're most likely vegan. Glucose skimmed yeah. milk. Yeah. People are like amazed that it's vegan, but I'm like, you know how expensive actual animal product is to put into <laughs> things? So that's why when they're like, oh, it's vegan, you're like, because it's cheaper. <laughs> when you can synthesize it yeah. in some way, then yes. Or the least... graphics are interesting. So this one's a house. All right. And then what's the other one? The other one looks like a fucking Oreo, except it says Bobisco. Right? Correct. Right. Correct. <laughs> But also look at the color. Okay, so now I'm going to... Oh, yeah, so one's darker than the other. Oh, no. The other one looks like... Um, I'm going to zoom in. Like you got I exposed to the so. sun. Okay. You want to have it? Yeah. I don't even want to eat this. <laughs> just, Why not? I think I'm just like full of snackies that I'm like... My palate is just like... That's why we're here. We'll help you. If my eyes were closed, I wouldn't think this was an Oreo. Oh, wait, let me try the same with that. Well, a little bit. It's a chocolate cookie, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's close enough to an Oreo. Which it doesn't one? have that fall, um, the Cremo. Okay. It definitely doesn't have that fall apart texture you get when you have like When a, you bite into the... Uh, like an oh, actual Oreo. Yeah, exactly. It crumbles a yeah. lot. Like, mm-hmm. my fucking table's messy. That's right my now. favorite thing about like Oreos though. Mm-hmm. Like you just dip it in that milk and mm-hmm. then the way it just dis- almost dissolves. Like... <laughs> we love Oreos. Okay. I gave you guys okay, a quarter. Okay, so the high road definitely is like a little bit more... Doesn't dissolve as quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's actually, like the Hyro, the Hyro actually is comparable mm-hmm. to an Oreo. Okay. Okay. Mm. What's the other um, American Oreo out here? Is it Hi Ho's or some shit like that? Or probably. Do we some have pri- any? some private label? It's got to be a private label. Yeah. yeah some private is double label. stuff the same as Oreo? Yes. Yeah. It's a. Yeah. It, it is, is double. It's just yeah. Double. It's one of their. Uh, Very. What's called brand? Not brand. I think it's um, called Hi Ho's. I just remember like. Working lines. at the American Red Cross, yeah. and it's like they didn't have Oreos; they had like high host some shit yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. they had the the private the private label brand. <laughs> Perfect. That is also something I don't know if that's something you guys have talked about too, but um, what about private labels? No, we don't. No, we don't. No. Venture in private labels on this podcast. No. Or, or meaning like, We're you pretty know. pretty low brow right now. Right, I was going to say like, or like you guys, um, what was it? Like if you want vodka and you're like, oh, get Grey Goose. And you're like, why get uh-huh. Grey Goose when you can just get the one from Costco? Costco, it's right. it's the same right. one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh. So, so it's Kirkland. Oh, she learned something today. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of the stuff like here, we're going to go on another tangent okay. of food science. But a lot of the stuff you guys eat in um, Costco is made by some other all I, brand. you're you're correct. All but all I can relate is that uh, the batteries are Duracell. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's not a food, but that's exactly. uh, the same idea. Exactly. So I don't know if like anybody has. Um, I don't know if anybody out there was ever curious, but that's a lot of the stuff you eat, like from Costco, right? Trader Joe's, even it's it's made by some other popular brand, right. most Just, likely, mm-hmm. most likely. But then by rebranding it, then you know, in their case, mm-hmm. they you can sell cheaper, I guess. Oh yeah, there's know. like a different margin, you know. But I feel, I, I imagine, let's say it's the exact same product. I imagine mm-hmm. if you put that in front of someone and told them they were two different brands, it mm-hmm. would affect the way they experience that product. 
It totally would because yeah. people are like, oh no, like I wanted Grey Goose and this is right. a Grey Goose, but you're right. like, it literally, it literally runs is. from the same pipes exactly. that Grey Gooses run through or whatever. But you know, it's like you have people who are brand loyal, which is great. Like how, like I would be brand loyal to like the Oreo, but it's cause that's nostalgic. So these to me are kind of like cheap imitations of them. Mm -hmm. And you know, there is probably truth behind what I just said, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's definitely like, you know, you, you like something because of your first impression of it. Yeah. So Yeah. Excellent. So between these two, then, which one? Um, My favorite flavor was Cremo, uh -huh. but the texture of this one is yeah, better. Definitely, it, um, it stayed in your mouth longer. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I like the high rows. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, good, good. But the Cremos are truly chocolate sandwiches rather than chocolate flavored <laughs> well, <you're> sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. All right, where are we at now? Sorry, Jamie, we're going to definitely clean this for you later. Oh, Lord. That's fine. Um, do we want the there's wafers? There's Choco con Crunchies. Choco Crunchies? Okay, let's do Choco Crunchies. Canine Crunchies, Canine Crunchies. Da, na, 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 na. Nobody? So this 101 like Dalmatians a... commercial? How no. dare you? I thought it was a cat food mm. commercial. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I just remember the Crunchies part and like singing it like that. Okay. Someone out there in podcast line is going to be like, you're so wrong. That's not how it's sung. Those aren't the words. Thank goodness no one listens to Ooh, this. So they're individually <laughs> wrapped. Ooh. English. So, I, okay. I, this is what I thought. Yeah, they're English biscuits. I totally forgot about that. Okay. I've never had Covered these. in chocolate. I think do I'm... I do know I've... Sure. I know I've grown up with these. Yeah, um, so have I. This is nostalgia. But I did... For, I've forgotten that they're individually wrapped, okay. which I don't know why. I'm going to save one for Dave. Okay, just say I have a whole yeah. pack. I mean, that's fine. I can bring more. I just want to eat some. I just want to eat like a piece of meat right now. I know, <laughs> not why a meat flavored chip. I want to eat a piece of. Meat. Why do you think I got chicken nuggets? I know those aren't really meat, but like. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely an English biscuit. Do you taste a little lemon? Mm hmm. Mm. Is that intentional? I don't know. Depends on what's in an English biscuit. Please analyze. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I like the first ingredient is chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see anything that would uh, denote of a citrus note, mm -hmm. but perhaps the raising agents, you know, like um, baking soda and whatnot, can yeah. kind of give effect you that, that uh, effect. I, mm -hmm. That's what I would assume. But if there's also a flavor in here and they added, you know, that within that flavor. Okay. That could make sense, but they wouldn't denote it on here either. Mm. But no, I do get it. Oh, there's cinnamon powder. Does that come through? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it does. That's how I know I'm old. You have a little bit left, so you can uh, try it again. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait, for me? No, here. But anybody can have I, the rest. I'm trying not to eat all this, like like J Jamie says. No, like, I know. We have dinner at a pretty good spot, so we need to right. really prepare ourselves here come correct for that one mm -hmm. like gotta get like the right situation all up in here exactly okay well so, is dave coming up with us to dinner no okay <laughs> this can be dave's dinner then tonight all these cookies, all no, cookies. Happy. no he has he all has, this like, mac and cheese and he has potato Aww, wedges that cheese. i made a like, he has food okay he'll survive <clears throat> okay um should we delve into the chocolate bar Sure, that's up to you um, on what exactly you want to try. I'm not, I refuse <laughs> fucking raisins and milk chocolate. Fuck get, raisins. We should, get a, I, we should get like a poll out there for your listeners. Don't like raisins. About like, how do you feel about raisins? Okay. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like, that's a Spanish influence in, you know, Filipino food. Like, I don't know if you're like, you've ever been young and you're like, ooh, potato salad. And then there's a fucking raisin. Right. <laughs> or like pineapple, like what the fuck and is this? Why would this? you put that in there? Like or like um those what is that that baked stuffed chicken where it's boneless? The, uh, relleno, yeah, relleno. Yeah, mm -hmm. love it, right? I'm like ooh, chicken skin, no bones, dope. Right. And then you fucking run into a raisin. Right. Are you talking about like embutido? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Gross. Or whatever you call it, relleno mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Yeah. But essentially, like Filipino chicken meatloaf. Yeah. My mom yes. and then my mom does a really amazing like crab salad and it's baked right in the shell. Don't tell me. 
Fucking raisins, why? man. Why? Raisins, sweet. Bro. It's sweet. Why do we need sweet? Now, now I know why you hate raisins. <laughs> Just like how you hate barbecue flavor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, I like that everything else. I'm like, ooh, I love crab, you know? Mm-hmm. And like, my mom is like some of the there, best there, crab pickers. I think pickers, there are like, certain things that don't belong in savory, but I'm also of the school that I'm like, please, God, don't put fruit in my salad. That's how I feel. Yeah, when people are like, ooh, strawberry fields salad That's like gross. with arugula and You're whatever. Not into that. No, mm. no. Give me a cob mm. or something all savory. Like, like don't put Caesar. fruit in it. Got it. Okay. I think we should just do this one first to get it over. Get out of the way. I'm not eating that. Uh. Just try it. No. Just a little bit. No, I'm not wasting my calories on raisins and milk. Chocolate. I will give you the smallest piece. Mm. No. <laughs> Walking to the bathroom would burn it off. And then, like, then, nope. <laughs> and then we still have this. The cat tongues. Is that what that's Just called? kidding, y'all. It's called lengua de gato. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Um, they are like cra- like, like crackers. Slash I, they're, they're just like simple milk crackers. I mean, yeah. I. But I don't know. Do you have any exposure to them? Yeah. When I was there's yeah. a there's a certain brand that I'm I'm like you, this is like this looks artisanal. Okay. Yeah. But I but you know what I remember um. D- like eating this, I'm um, playing Body of Christ with my brother. Oh right, the communion. This is, yeah, this communion, is one of those right. Body of Christ exactly. props. Exactly. <laughs> That's a nope. fun shape. It's got like a, a divot of like a sh- like a leaf shape or like a spoon schmear. Uh, do either of you have any familiarity with the Goya brand? I do I not. Don't. Okay, neither do Unless I. we're talking about like Goya. Goya. Like, <laughs> Go- nah, not that Goya. No, no, different Goya. I don't know. It's a popular brand. And, Early, no, raisins, no, no, try no means no. No means no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then fine. It's like, oh. Oh, wait. Just kidding. I almost bamboozled her. There's the raisin right there. I thought it was just like, like raisin extract, but. I, I thought it was going to be too, but that was like the tiniest raisin in the corner of that piece. Okay. Ugh. It just makes her gag. Just Tiny like and hearing. annoying. <laughs> Tiny and terrible. But it's not. That's overpo- my nickname. I personally don't think. I personally don't think it's overpowering. You know. No. I think I think the chocolate still comes through pretty nicely. Yeah. It's just you got this essence of uh, raisin in there. Yeah, the chocolate is more fruitier than normal. So I mean, it's a good chocolate. What What are your expectations of chocolate in general? I I don't know. The darker, the better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love dark chocolate. Go ahead. I, is there the, this one's oh. a little bit the almond one looks like it's a little bit darker yeah that one said milk chocolate and raisins yeah, yeah. The and then the cookies and cream it's like white chocolate yeah uh does dave have a preference in the type of chocolate does he just like milk chocolate or um surprise dave um he doesn't care he loves chocolate just we any have, like, variety bags of... of chocolate chips in the mini fridge oh, okay. okay that he like snacks on perfect like if they seasoned chocolate with something totally obtuse like would he be down to try it like how van lewins came out with a ranch ice cream oh right right ew what <laughs> you didn't, you know, didn't that? know that no we <laughs> are Time to pay a visit. right van I lewins i'm not going <laughs> i think that should be like the next podcast is like what the fuck are you know my fellow food technologists out there thinking See, i'm sure I'm thinking, that was just for like i'm trying to think of ranch ice cream would they just bring, bring out the buttermilk um so my fr- i saw Ugh. i saw my friends open it on instagram mm-hmm. and it looks like you took vanilla ice cream and you put like the ranch seasoning packet in it mm. and, like Good. yeah yeah but sweet and ranch to me don't go together so i it think shouldn't. it's right. like if they had made it maybe like a very plain base then it probably could have flew it just looks <laughs> like an assault on the senses so this is dark chocolate but it just looked darker on the. Um, it oh. definitely looked darker on the. Well, it will say. Well, like no, this this says oxidize? almonds in milk chocolate, so it is a milk chocolate okay, still. So probably, yeah, I was gonna say it bloomed. Yeah. It looks like milk. I thought there was a variety that had dark chocolate. Maybe I did not bring it. But or Gabe fine. ate it. Gabe took some bars with him. Sure. Oh, maybe he, me. Yeah. Dave, true. It's fine. That's normal. It's, it's decent good. chocolate. Yeah. It's not like Dove or Hershey's, but it's good chocolate. Like my mom loves almonds in her chocolate. This is like a. Oh really? Mm-hmm. This is like the chocolate when you're like, oh my kids selling chocolates for their Catholic school. Legit. My favorite one oh, is yeah. the crispy bar. Oh yeah. When people yes. come around with those boxes, I'm like, yeah. ayo, you got the crispy one. Mm-hmm, oh mm-hmm. my god, that's my favorite. This is what that tastes like. Okay, so like cheap chocolate, but it's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad, bad chocolate. Yeah. I mean, you know, to each their own. I mean, God, like everyone like makes fun of me, like. Oh, you have like a culinary degree and everything. I'm like, I love me some fucking McDonald's. Like, don't don't get it twisted. Like, <laughs> oh, and my top ramen. All right. So, 
for we got the Goya cookies and cream. It's just like the Hershey's cookies and cream bar, which is also another favorite. Do they Still still sell those? They do. Oh. They still have been like obnoxious like size bars. There's also special holiday ones like Easter Valentine's, whatever. Remind me what white chocolate's made out of. Not actual chocolate. Right, right. Um, it's cocoa butter. Ah. Got it. Right? Yeah. I used to be into these in high school. Mm-hmm. What I like about the Hershey's one is like the actual little like balls. They're bigger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> their balls this, are bigger. Their balls are bigger. <laughs> yeah. Balls are tiny. These are like um you took the high row <laughs> and let it crumble on top of the, <laughs> the vat. Basically. <laughs> yeah, where do you think they get them from? I know, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that one was pretty good. Okay. okay, which is your favorite chocolate? Oh, shoot, I don't know. I didn't, you didn't even have the, the plain milk chocolate, but that's fine. Um, yeah. yeah if, if, I think a bunch of bars went to Dave, so yeah. That's fine. I hope he enjoys them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but from the ones we've tried, um, probably, uh, probably the almonds... Right, and then actually the raisins, and then the uh, cookies and cream, mm-hmm. and not because uh, I love raisins particularly, but um, I don't know. It was uh, like you said, there's like a fruitiness in there. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I enjoyed that a little more mm-hmm. overall compared to the cookies and cream. So this one reminds me of like when you get cold chocolate and you actually don't get any of that astringency from chocolate. Uh-huh. It just tastes like wax. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right. So like. I was not fond of this one. I mean, I'm also holding it to the same candle as the Hershey's cookies okay, and cream. Okay, that's a high so standard. That is a really high standard. So I would say, yeah, the the almond and milk chocolate, sell it in a box for your kid's fundraiser kind of chocolate. That was probably my favorite one. I actually like the cookies and cream one. Good. Hmm. Is this the open one? Okay, fair. No, I'm just trying to like, you know, so like he doesn't take home open stuff and then finds it at the bottom of something and it's all like stale and nasty or yeah, whatever. And <laughs> it wouldn't stop me from eating it. But, right. okay, but I'm look, I'm spotting the, the choco nut and that really Okay, is. yes. Okay, so you guys yeah. have to tell me about these. So my Filipino, if we had to give a, give ourselves a, our back histories, mm-hmm. um, I'm not familiar with choco nuts, flat tops or whatever. My family, we did a lot of, kind of like Jamie where we did like a lot of the savory puzzle bones, but also like... The possible bones were like homemade. Like mm-hmm. I would get mm-hmm. random Tupperwares of ube oh, nice. chocolate. Mm-hmm. Like, Perfect. <laughs> right, more so than you know. There's something about this bars. the texture of choco nut. It reminds you of almost like pulveron. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like if you see, like I just opened this right, and I, I didn't really. And like, then it put just starts to any fall force. apart. You know. Yeah, and then. Um, so is this like a wafer? No. No, it's just like no. I don't know. It's ground up Dude, peanut, mm-hmm. ground up like cocoa. So it reminds you of pulveron. Mm. That's insane. <laughs> I, no, like I, I can't just, believe you've never tried these. I was I, expecting I it to too. be like crunchy. Yeah, but you literally could just put like they come in a massive bag. Right. Yeah, you can literally put like this on your tongue and squish it on the roof of your mouth. Yeah. That's what I liked about it when I was make a kid. Make it pasty. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, there's more in the car. Uh, no. <laughs> there's plenty more. Mm. So there are two brands, like two very like I don't know competing mm. brands. We have Chalk Nut, which is also the uh, you know the name that people use to describe this product in general, but then there's also this other brand. Mm. Um, is it the same thing? Yeah. So I'd be interested to see if there is a difference in its flavor. Oh, okay. Uh, it's funny because I was telling Cat like earlier, I'm like, I love these because I used to hide them in my pencil box oh, at uh-huh. school. Yeah. Because they look just like erasers right. yeah. or like because they're white and red or something. pencil yep. sharpeners. Yeah. Versus like you could tell what a Hershey's mini bar looks exactly. like. I mean, it, it was just cool how it fit like yeah. along with your school supplies and stuff right. like that. Yeah. But then if they like came out of the wrapper, you were fucked because. Yeah. It's like the same exact imprint, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're different brands. Mm-hmm. Okay. So definitely a different flavor. Okay. One, one I'm told, is one more peanut forward. Um, peanut forward is definitely chocolate nut. Okay. The handy, though, I'm not mad at. Okay. Okay. This All one, right. I probably wouldn't have been able to tell if there were peanut in it. Okay. Which I don't, I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't hate either, but. I really like this one better for some reason. Like before I go to bed, I always will have a little piece of chocolate. Uh-huh. This will just be like, mm. you want a piece of chocolate before you go to bed? Because he loves it. Mm-hmm. This is fucking what I'm having and before okay. I go to bed. Because okay. it's just like the way it just settles in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm not going to choke on it. You don't have to chew it. <laughs> you yeah. don't have to chew it. It just dissolves. Yeah, it's like sitting in the, behind your molars. <laughs> like. <laughs> Very nice. This one is like the, what is this one? The red and white one? Yeah, I ate the shit out of both of They're them. They're both my, red and white, but. My wrappers <laughs> are empty. <laughs> this looks like actually Carlos V. 
But Do you know the Carlos V? Mm-mm. It's a oh, yeah, Hispanic chocolate. The yeah. Hispanic chocolate, yeah. Mm. Choco Nut definitely is peanut forward. This one, yeah. however, is still good, but it tastes more chocolatey. Yeah. 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 So I think they're, that's probably where the difference Man, is. Man, this just like breaks, right? I don't want to do much to it. You're just like, boop, yeah. And it like. I don't know. I, I'm glad you like it. I mean, some of the people I've shared it with, they thought it was. It's obviously different for them, so mm-hmm. yeah, it was I think texture-wise texture is just yeah. It's probably like a texture just, issue. No, I was like, wait, what's wrong with the texture? Yeah, I was gonna say, but what was wrong with? It? Maybe it's they're great. just not used to a texture it like dissolve. that. Yeah, and that's probably what it is. Because now, when you think about it, everything's shellacked in some sort of candy coating. Because that's why I'm not a, really a fan of the Goyas, because like you gotta have to do some work when you're eating that. Yeah. Yeah, Choco nuts. I don't gotta do work at all. <laughs> but, like, but I gotta like, work for it, right? But like this one, imagine like as like a kid, you just took like three of them, smushed them all in your hand, and just threw like one jawbreaker size totally, amount. Yeah, I'm totally. <laughs> you would do that. You probably unlocked a memory. I was like, I think I've done that. <laughs> I've done like two at at once or something. Oh, it's actually really good. All right, let I me think if the... you put too much in your mouth, it just like um dehydrates you. Yeah. They, you should do that. You, you might should. choke. You, what was it like the cinnamon challenge? You should do one yeah, of those. Yeah, <laughs> oh that's God. exactly what I was thinking. I was like, you might choke actually, so don't do that. All right, let's see the let's see the flat top because yeah, I'm... flat top. That that's really it's not a milk. I don't say it's a milk chocolate like you would have a goya. It's mm-hmm. it's just really like cocoa powder. I was like looking know. at it. It looks like what's that other the chocolate Werther's Reasons 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 or something. Yeah. Okay. That's what, like, I imagine, but, like, this... The this, reasons are, like, hard. Yeah, like, a hard candy. That's what that looked like to me, but mm-hmm. this looks like that. It's chocolatey. Just straight-up chocolate. I mean, it has sure. the texture. Mm-hmm. I heard that. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to hear that. I want to hear that how that came out through the, the speaker. <laughs> is that harder? Like, is it hard the with the chocolate nut? Yeah. Yeah. It's softer than the chocolate bar. Right. This should be a filling. Like, you should enrobe this in chocolate and then just like, okay, fair. It like that. Oh. Like this? Mm. Eh, I'd yeah, it's have... a, it, lo- it sounded a little dense. Yeah. I'd rather have, like, this is, uh, I guess, like a, a B version of a chocolate kiss. <laughs> 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 the B <bee> real. <laughs> I gotcha. It's not bad, but like, it, like, you know, I wish I had grown up with Choco Nut. Out of these three options, I wish I had experienced chocolate nut as a child wow yeah we're glad to bring you up right to speed here, into so. my late 30s thanks guys <laughs> Jeez. no i'm just kidding but yeah no i all right like, excellent excellent okay you ate the hope yet I yeah sure did. so i think we went through everything i mean there's like a wafer we haven't touched but mm. there's banana chips i i'm okay i know what banana chips are yeah although the lingua de gato i kind of unless Go wait do you have more of these i don't want to break it open if like it's got a seal on it still oh, this one's um I know I have an open one um, in the car, so it's fine. We'll try it later, but it's going to be a biscuit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. There's nothing. I mean, I like it's a vanilla biscuit. flavored biscuit. It's almost yeah. like breakaways of, you know, cones. What would you have? Mm, yeah. What, what would you have with this? Or what would you include this with? What would Ice you cream. pair it with? Okay. Ice cream. Ice cream with good milk. Okay. Like get, I said, it tastes some like magnolia breakaway, ice like cream. Cones okay. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Some ube ice cream. Maize con yello. Wow. We should bring that out. Salt and straw. Or like, nah, it's Girl, I'm talking lust. about like the, the purple Wanderlust tropical flavor. tubs. Uh, <laughs> you remember those? Wanderlust. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Wanderlust. Let's yeah. get them on that. Yeah. Um, okay, so let, let's take a step back again to, um, well, to, to these, the sweets then. Where, where do they rank for you overall? Um, yeah. I mean, for me, Choco Nuts at the top, and then it would be the Choco Nut dupe. The Hannies, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and then I would go. I mean, this is for me, and then I would go the Japanese cheesecake, um, and then, and then I would go like the vanilla cake. Like I said, the chocolates for me are like okay. I'm giving myself child childhood reparations and saying right. that choco nuts gonna okay. be my top because Perfect. I. I am owed 30 years worth of this I stuff, cannot guys. believe, like... I swear. You better talk to your parents about I know, this. Right? You can uh, definitely um, find these at Seafood City. Oh, like. yeah, no. Like, I've seen them before, but just never, you know, I guess, like, growing older, like, you don't try sweets because you're like, I have all these other things at my fingertips. Even at Mitsuwa and Ninjia Market, they'll have, like, these different, like, little packs where mm-hmm. it's, like, a, a rectangle with little chocolates, and they'll have that same, some of them with that same... 
like texture. I was like, not crunky, because I think they're like a chocolate bar. But some will have yeah, like yeah, little yeah. Rice Krispies and stuff. So if you're ever Yum. in like Mitsuwa or in Ninjia and you see that with like, mm-hmm. they're like tiny squares as well. That, that's kind of okay, like the same I'll have to thing. check that out. The one in Costa Mesa. Um, I would say... Let's see. Sorry, I'm like scanning. Um, <laughs> I mean, I put the chicha pop sweet corn if we're talking about sweet. Yeah, that one would probably be like my second one if that was. That's my first. If you, right. if you consider like it a sweet right, item. Right, if you consider it a I sweet. I consider that a sweet. Okay. But it's it's a good in between because it still has some like saltiness on right. it. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, I dig it. I dig it. Mm-hmm. Um, then it would probably be one of the chocolates. I would probably say the almonds and milk chocolate. Raisins, okay. eh, they can kick rocks like yeah. Jamie <laughs> believes they can. He's been fond of the cookies and cream and then the chocolate crunchies. I don't know what I wanted to expect of that, but it's, you know, chocolate covered biscuit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not a Milano. Oh my God, Milano's are good. Ah, wow. Yeah. I haven't had Actually, that's how I would call Lingua de Gato. It's like that top part yeah, of you're a right. Milano without would, the chocolate. Exactly. I would think that's close. And is there anything else that was sweet that I missed? I don't the, know. Like the every, cheese. Did you mention the cheesecake? Oh, the cheese, the Japanese cheesecake. Uh-huh. I was like, mm, it's all right. Okay. It was a little too dense for my liking. Oh, I see. All the, right. I, it's like if we ever broke open one of the fudge bars, I would try one of those. Okay. That I feel like that could go neck and neck with something. Well, we'll see if there's any more left. <laughs> I, I don't know. We're going to munch on on the way home from Bistro Na. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. 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 She's like, I'm done. Oh, man. No more snacks for us. Going back to uh, the savory stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if we had tried everything at that point yet. So just to recap, where where do those items fall? I would put the, the faux chicharron, not the chicharron. Oh, oh chicharron. sorry, chicharron? Yeah, that okay. one, because I really did like the spice blend on that. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was like really savory, and then I would put chicha pop barbecue, and then mm-hmm. I kept on going to the Japanese nuts, like the... Nagarayas? Yeah, the so nagaraya. Yeah. Um, garlic, because I found mm-hmm. myself eating that. The garlic, garlic is addicting, though. It's really garlicky. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's like even real though it was garlic. Like a sweet shell on it it's still really good yeah and then i would go to the egg yolk chips and then mm-hmm. to the um middle eastern like corn oh puffs. yeah uh-huh mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yeah the boy bawangs are good but like um yeah. i don't know it just wasn't like the crunch off of that yeah. like wasn't as good as the other crunches mm. mm-hmm. okay and then the fucking like those chips those other those chili cheese chips on the bottom. No. <laughs> that's way down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that's like, ugh, like I'm just gonna. Like if this was a whole list. It. This would even make it on the list. No, it would be, no. yeah, like not for favorite. It would Wait, to me like. Nah. If you could only try either the chippy or the raisin and milk chocolate, which one would you have tried? <laughs> In a dessert, I would it? have to do the chocolate. <laughs> oh wow, wow. Yeah. that yeah, really chippy chippies like, really suck. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Maybe she again. She abhors raisins In, and would. I know. Eat that exactly. before she would try the chippy again. Wow. We'll um. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. We well, should find her more raisins. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Like, I'm just, gonna just literally, I was like, Ned and Lala. Yeah. I wonder if they serve uh, raisins at Bistro Now. We'll just... <laughs> they. Put I don't think for... they do. I mean, where, are there raisins no. in China? Not for savory things. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I would so. assume like jujubes and other. Definitely, like, we will see jujubes on like the dishes. Those things, yeah, but not, okay not a raisin. Okay. The raisin is such an American thing, I think. Uh, That's okay. me, though. But okay. I like craisins. Ch- the cran- chalk, chalk? Uh, No, yeah, cranberry, cranberry raisins. raisins. What the hell so are cranberry They're raisins? dehydrated cranberries. Oh, got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I'm down yeah. for those. Yeah. Okay, That's just it. not raisin. Okay, just not, <laughs> gr- just not dehydrated grapes, right? No, yeah, I like regular grapes. I don't regular like grapes, dehydrated yeah. grapes. They just look, okay. you know. Okay. I, I don't no, mind ants raisins. on a log for me. Dang. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I brought back another memory too. Yeah, oh my like, god. Ugh. Wow. It's like how Americanized we are to be like we we had ants on a log, but we also had it in our meatloaf. Like, <laughs> oh god. I mean, that's what made me stay away from like those. When every time It'll I saw raisins or I was whatever, like, nope, Rano's, gone. Those things, yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah. Wow. What? Okay. How are you rating it? I want to hear how you rate it. Um. Look. It's not a lot in there, so you like that one for sure. Uh, probably this, yes. Probably mm-hmm. chip Tyrone, and then probably the yeah the barbecue chicha pop, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and then follow that maybe with the nagaraya, mm-hmm. you know, for our savory yeah. stuff. Did the did the hopia fall anywhere? Where where oh, where that's would a you? Sweet. Oh yeah, hopia would have been high as well. Yeah, I thought of that too. Um, you consider that a sweet thing? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Even though I mean it's a it dessert, was delicious. but it wasn't it like sweet like all the other desserts that we've right. had before. Yeah. Like I would even eat that and like breakfast on the go. Like fuck, I mean. I don't mm-hmm. have any time to make eggs. I would grab one with coffee. Or like imagine how they're talking about like Rice Krispies being like the pre-workout. 
snack, I would smash one of those before Rice <laughs> yeah, Krispie. That would <laughs> totally stick to my ribs. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Good ideas out there. Yeah. Follow us for fitness tips. <laughs> don't, don't, don't right now. Um, <laughs> No, yeah, those are good too. Mm-hmm. Okay, I good. forgot. I, I don't know why I forgot about those, but uh, that would probably be like between the mongo and then the choco nut. Yeah, top. Those they, are my they definitely take the top. Yeah, yeah. So, same. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Man, we've uh, we've cut a lot of ground. Yeah. We we have really taken the real real wide breath of like right. Filipino snacks. I mean, there's so much more out there, but again, like it's just apple. like what what do you okay. like and what do you. Um, what not to like right i mean what we were talking about like shrimp chips earlier like the ones that look like fries are my favorite not the crispy oh. ones yeah that, those are the ones that i had like, about most those. exposure yeah. with as a kid yeah. with shrimp chips yeah I mean, you find them here they're in the mm-hmm. car um <laughs> don't worry <laughs> whatever you were thinking that is not here that's probably in the car the answer to world peace in his <laughs> car <laughs> <laughs> the ones that look like fries are the most like nostalgic for yeah. me yeah those um, are the best flavored ones however i'm still looking for the ones where you can deep they look like you can deep fry them. They look like discs, but like you can deep fry them, make them fresh. Like what I would buy heck? that. What? I bought them as the discs that you just, you know, but they're like Korean brand, but I've never seen. Oh, That's I what think I, I know want. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. the ones where you have to cook them. Yeah, they look like a, sol- a solid piece of like plastic until you fry it. Exactly, and then it's like, yeah. okay, I know what you're talking about, but like I've never seen Like for some reason I can't find those or something, but. Um, yeah, we're looking in the wrong section. Maybe. I would love to get, get a hold of those to just cook on my own because it's like uh, maybe sometimes I just want like five of them. Mm. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> my mom bought like because I, I have a coworker who did his mission work in the Philippines. Uh-huh. And so when we uh, like had a business meeting, I was like, oh, I'll make him like a Filipino care package. And my I was like, mom, can you give me like shrimp chips? I'm thinking like the fry ones. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna, yeah. She found the every other kind. <laughs> and so she comes home with like eight bags of shrimp chips. And I was like, I can't give this man like eight bags of like shrimp chips. So I give him like two of them. But of course, like out of all of those, the fry shaped ones weren't in there. So I don't know if they're you know boutique now and mm-hmm. you can only no, get them I don't, I don't think so it just depends because 99 ranch didn't have them <laughs> oh really yeah hmm because yeah you go to ralph's and you can find them everywhere else. right interesting you okay. could probably find them in like one of the little mercados or something yeah i think so but filipino no not, not an asian market that's interesting yeah okay that's cool though we'll be on the hunt for those i i know uh but first yeah you can stop by the car that's fine um <laughs> there's that's we got you covered so okay Man, this is uh, this has been a lot of fun. Um, we are high on sugar right now. Yeah, no, our, absolutely. We're gonna crash like very shortly, or we're gonna run to dinner or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, that that's gonna be. We're gonna save that for you know another time uh, to discuss um, our dinner tonight. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of good things, but mm-hmm. I think we had a lot of good things today. So um, we did. Yeah. So there's a lot of snacks. I've like never eaten like that many snacks. Mm-hmm. Well, then I feel like I just like it's like when you give blood. And then you get the snacks. Like, we didn't do shit. We didn't do shit for this. We didn't give up anything. No bodily fluids. No I'm nothing. glad I worked out earlier yeah. today. Exactly. Well, you're better than I am. So this, um, we'll, we'll, we'll share, you know, all these product names and things and everything we've talked about, you know, in, um, mm-hmm. in the show notes or whatever, whenever you find this episode. But um, can you it, put it on your Instagram? Your Instagram's linked to this podcast, right? Yeah, it's going to be there somewhere. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll put it in there somewhere. So yeah. that that's fine. I think we both took a picture before we smashed through these. So yeah. we can send it to you and you can post it. So um, cool. But we've uh, sounds like we've come to the end of uh, of another episode. So thank you both so much for, for joining us. Thank you, Kat. It's great to thank have you, you on. And uh, I know this will not be the last time. Yay, I'm glad. We're going we're gonna to uh-huh. keep you on um, as much as we can. So um, where can the people find you? Um, uh, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok under Cat in a Jar. I got it. Okay. <laughs> That's a cat with a K. Yes. Right. Unless they ban all the social media platforms at this point. Let's hope not. <laughs> okay. Let's let's hope people have some sense in them to keep the people um, what they want. So. It's a whole other podcast. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No politics. <laughs> no. But reach More out. More food. Yeah, exactly. More food. That's all we can. That's our That's our platform. So, uh, but you can reach me at Dumb and Hungry. Uh, you can reach Jammers at uh, at Blunt reach Sarcasm. Blunt, Blunt Sarcasm, exactly. my Instagram. Mm-hmm. And at Cat in a Jar. So, uh, if you have any feedback, you can email us at uh, hi at dumbandhungry.com. You can send us your feedback or your or your love letters uh, or all of the above. So, sneak it to us, <laughs> Yeah, just slide <laughs> in there. Um, every so often, we'll. Um, woo, 
Yeah. You'll probably hear some of that, but every so often you'll find us on, on YouTube. Uh, we'll put this up on there, and you can also find the audio where the fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo. I'm Jamie. And I'm Kat. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each. <laughs>